Good day, class. Today we will discuss a move function within a warehouse management system and within Excel or Google Sheets. So typically, uh, you would be using a scanner, a warehouse management system such as Fishbowl, and a warehouse management system application downloaded onto your scanner. But in this case, uh, we will simulate everything using uh, a PowerPoint with some slides and we will uh, track all of the, the movement of, of the inventory using Microsoft Excel. So you uh, would also typically need a barcode location for the from location and the to location that you are moving the product to and some barcodes for each of the products you are going to move. So due to COVID-19, we are not able to work from the office. So I am going to show you um, how you can set this up inside of your house and you can simulate a warehouse. Okay, I have the webcam on and I am going to show you my inventory locations here that I have set up. So starting from the bottom here, we have location w.01.a.01. We have location w.01.a.02 and the third shelf w.01.a.03. And inside of each shelf, we have some products with uh, barcodes uh, on those, as you can see. Those are the UPC barcodes, and then we have the location barcodes, all right? So that's all you need to set this up. All right, so we're back inside of the PowerPoint. Let's take a look at how that would look like in, on your scanner inside of the warehouse management system. So let's go to the next screen here. So first you would scan your location beep, with your scanner, okay? Then you would scan uh, the part, you'd press enter to go to the next uh, cell down, and then you would scan your part number. Then you'd press enter or down to go to the next cell, and then type in the quantity. We'll just type in one, then press enter to, to go down to the next scale, cell, and scan the to location, the location you want to move the product to. And finally, you would tap the the move button or you would highlight it and then uh, click enter. Okay, so in this case we do that and then, oh no, look at that, we get an error message. So this will happen from time to time and, and you'll need to do a little bit of investigation to find out what the problem is. So here the error message says part number GRV225 was not found in location w.01.a.03 or is committed to another order. So we can click OK and we'll do a bit of investigation. So let's exit the move uh, a function and let's go down to the uh, search uh, or the part function so we can search and find out where is that, that part actually inside of the warehouse management system because sometimes that doesn't match the actual physical location. So let's scan this UPC here, okay? And then we're going to click search. So we scan it with our scanner, right? Beep. And so it comes up on our scanner and then we click the search button, all right? Now it gives me some information. It tells me the description, what this product is. That's very useful. Yep, that's right. The uh, description on, on the product itself, on the label, matches the description on, on the, the scanner. And now it's telling me uh, about where it is. So in this one location, W01A02, we have three on hand and three available. That means I can move those. Okay, and how about in... Uh, all right, now it tells me there's a second location, W01A01, there are two on hand. So my problem was, the, the mistake that I made is that I tried to move it from uh, location W01A03, and there are actually none there, which makes it impossible. So let's go back to the move function and take it from the correct uh, location, okay? So we select the move function on the scanner, 
and then we scan the correct from location. Okay, we press enter to go to the next cell. It's highlighted in blue. We scan the part, beep, right? We press enter, we type the quantity, right? We press enter, we scan the new location, beep. Okay, and that's, that's the location I want to move it to. And then I click uh, the move button. All right, and then you'll get a little message at the bottom telling you the move was successful. Now, after doing all of that, you would want to go back to that part search function and there it would show you the new numbers. It would show an increase in that uh, to location and a decrease in the from location. So, um, all right, so that's how it looks on the scanners. And so you probably don't have a scanner, but I will show you how you can do this on Excel and you can practice this at home. So let's take a look at that. All right, we're inside of Excel and let me first show you each of the products that we will be dealing with. So we have our soap bar, an Irish Spring original soap bar. Okay, that's green. We have our great value, sweet and solid peanut butter almond uh, granola bars. Okay, and we have our studio uh, tape dispenser here. Okay, so there, those are our three products. Okay, let's go back to Excel here. All right, what we are going to do now is physically move products from one shelf to another shelf while making that match what is happening electronically. So that's how a warehouse management system works. Your, what, what is being moved physically is the exact same as what happens electronically. And so that means you can actually search for that uh, online. You can, you can find, you can track all of your inventory and, and know where everything is. So let's first look at the Excel sheet. On the left here, we have the parts. We have the GRV225, which is the granola bar. All of them are in location W01, A02. Then we have the COL170s, the Irish Spring Soap Bars in the first shelf, A01. And then we have the STD.008, the Studio Transparent Tape, all in the third shelf. W, w 01 a 3 Up here, we have the counts for each location. So here we can see the GRV225 is exclusively in that second shelf, in the 02 shelf. And there are zero in the other ones. Then we have the total inventory. On this side here, we have a drop-down menu. Now, if I changed it electronically, that would change the number there. Okay, but let's let's keep it as is. So for the Irish Spring Soap Bar, COL170, we have all five in that first shelf and the STD.008, all of it is in the third shelf. So let's move a soap bar, uh, one of the Irish Spring Soap Bars, let's move it to the second shelf and let's do it at the same time, physically and electronically. So right with a scanner, you would scan the location then you would scan the part, right? Okay, so here we go. We would scan this part, and then we would type the quantity, and then we would type the two locations. So let's put it in 002, okay? And so now that should be correct. We have four. We have four in the first shelf, and we have one in the second shelf. Let's do that with another product. Let's move a granola bar. So let's take a granola bar from the shelf two, okay? And let's put it into the bottom shelf, the first shelf. So I will select that, okay? And then I will make it match physically. So here, this is perfect. If I ever wanted to double check, maybe I, I, I think I lost something, I could always check on the system. Let's do one more, let's move one of the transparent tape from the top shelf here on 003 and let's move it to 001. Okay, and as you see on that side, uh, on the, uh, right here in the counts, the counts are adjusted. So now it does say there is one in the first shelf 
and there is one in the third shelf. So I, I plan on sending this to all of my students and I would like you to try this out, test it out. And um, if you can master this, if you understand this completely, then that's one uh, component of the warehouse management system that you understand and can apply to wherever you work. So if you are new to this channel, then please uh, subscribe and watch some other videos, like and comment. Or if you are in Edmonton and you would like to join the program and learn some uh, uh, warehouse technology and other skills that, that can help you get employed, then uh, please call us at the, at, the, at the college or email us at info at solomoncollege.ca. All right, thank you and have a great day.